Happy Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can normalize our logs so that we can create universal field names that we can use to create universal dashboards and also universal alerts, no matter of the log source that we are ingesting logs from. The current issue that we are facing is that, let's say, for example, looking at our ingested logs here from my Windows endpoint, you see connected to destination IP addresses is written to this data underscore win underscore event data underscore destination IP, where if I look at the same type of log from my Linux endpoint, so this is still a network connection that was invoked by one of my Linux endpoints, you see our destination IP field is slightly different. It is written to a data underscore event data underscore destination IP. And that gives us a problem when creating universal dashboards or running quick searches across our environment to see, okay, what maybe endpoints connected to, in our example, destination IP 8.8.4.4. I'd have to do one search query for the Linux endpoints that follow our naming convention here. And then I'd have to do a separate search for our endpoints that would follow this uh, field naming convention here, where in this video, we are going to fix that by, by using Graylog to normalize our fields into universal field names so that we're not always having to replicate the same steps no matter the log source of where we are ingesting logs from. So stay tuned and we will jump into it. And all right, so I've also created a blog post as well that I will link in the description below for those that want to follow along. And so in part six of our series here, we created a dashboard within Grafana that reflected network connections made by our Windows endpoint. And if you remember how we created our dashboards within our widgets here, for example, if I select our network connections widget here, you see that we have to specify a field name term. This panel will only display network connections made via our Windows endpoints because of the term selection of the field name that we have specified here. So you'll see we have data underscore win underscore event data underscore destination IP. While that works for our Windows endpoints, we also want to use this same panel, for example, to also reflect our Linux endpoints as well. And to do that, I will have to filter on a, a field name that both log sources share, right? And so since the native application that's generating these logs, Sysmon for Windows and then Sysmon for Linux, Sysmon is writing these two different field names. On the Windows side, it's writing to our data underscore win, where on the Linux side, we are writing to data underscore event data. So this panel that we see here is only reflecting connections made by our Windows endpoints. So to change that, what we want to do is write to a common field name that we will then use to build our panels, visualizations, dashboards, alerts, threat intel as well. Implementing log normalization makes our lives as stock engineers much easier uh, when it comes to building dashboards, configuring alerting. We can also set standards that the SOC team can follow when, when doing their search queries throughout the tool, or we can provide them a dashboard that says, here's all of the network connections, no matter the endpoint that is invoking the connection. So what we want to do to solve that problem is go ahead and normalize our fields. And we can use Graylog to do that on the fly for us. So what's going to happen is our, you know, Wazoo manager is receiving our log for our network connection. It is then sending it to Graylog. And within Graylog, what we can do is say, hey, if we receive a Linux Sysmon event three, let's go ahead and copy the contents of data underscore event data underscore destination IP to a common field name, DST underscore IP. And then we will also do the same thing on the Windows side. So we will take our, we'll copy the same value that was stored within data underscore win underscore event data to uh, DST underscore IP. So when it comes to then creating our visualizations, we now only have to create a visualization that filters on this universal field name rather than having to create a visualization that resolves on this field name and then another one that resolves on this field name. And this also applies to our alerting and threat intel enrichment that we'll, we will get into later videos uh, throughout this series. And to do so, we are going to use, we are going to take advantage of Graylog's pipeline rules. 
So if I go into gray log, I will select pipelines and I will select manage rules here. And let's go ahead and create a new rule. So what I'll do is just copy the contents that I have within the medium post and post that guy here. So what we're telling Greylock to do is say, hey, when our rule underscore group one, which we handled in part six, I believe, which I will uh, link to that video in the description below. And then so if our so we'll know our endpoint is a Linux host and we'll say rule underscore group three will be sysmon underscore event three, because that's what I know any network connection that's made sysmon flags that as an event three. And then we are going to take the raw fields. So these fields that we see after our uh, message variable here, right? So all these guys, and in our case, we're really interested in just the destination IP field. And we're going to tell Greylog to, hey, I want you to set a new field name, DST underscore IP. And the value that's gonna be contained within that field name is going to be the same value that's contained within within our original field that we're receiving as part of the actual event. And that'll become a little more obvious here in a sec once we actually kind of see it in action. So I'll go ahead and set a uh, description. I'll go ahead and set apply. And then I will go ahead and select save and close. So now it's going, so now let's pop into our managed pipelines and I'll just take advantage of the GOIP pipeline that we created in part six as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new stage, and this will be stage one. So Greylog is going to do this log normalization for us after we've done our geo, our GOIP enrichment as well. So I'll select add a new stage. I will select, I will just leave it to the default uh, to at least one of the rules and the stage matches the message. And I will select our newly created rule, which is our Linux Sysmon event three. So go ahead and select save. And now let's actually go ahead and generate an event. So I'll pop onto my uh, Linux host here and, and I'll just run a telnet out to 8.8.4.4. And I'll just say 443. So that has now triggered a sysmon event three. And if I go into here and reload, we will see our network connection here, right? So we see our sysmon event three. We see our original field. So the data underscore uh, event data underscore destination IP. And if we scroll down a little bit, we will see our new fields being added. So we are now setting a universal field name DST underscore IP to our log that we just uh, received via sysmon from our Linux endpoint, and we see that the value is is the same. This 8.8.4.4. So back in back into my pipeline, I'll go ahead and select manage rules. I'll go ahead and create create a rule, and I'll copy the Windows one over. And so what we're telling Greylock here is saying, hey, when our rule group one is equal to Windows, and our rule group three is equal to Sysmon event three. So the only difference here being that this one is going to be a Windows and not a Linux. We are then going to, you see our universal field names that we're setting here. So we're setting all these guys here. We see our DST underscore IP. And then we also see the unique field names that we receive via Sysmon from our Windows endpoint. We are now telling our DST underscore IP field to get the same value that is assigned to our data underscore win underscore event data. Set my, uh, set my description of the rules, apply, select, save, and close and then go back into manage pipelines, select my GOIP one again, and then still under stage one, I'm just going to select edit. And then for my stage rules, I'm gonna go ahead and add my new Windows Sysmon Event 3 log normalization rule as well. So now on my Windows endpoint, if I invoke a network connection out to 8.8.4.4, that has now triggered a network connection. And if we go back into Grafana here, I'll go ahead and refresh. We'll see a network connection was made by our Windows endpoint to 8.8.4.4. We see our original field, data underscore win underscore event data. And if we scroll down, we will now see our universal field name also added to this log event. So DST underscore IP with the same value that we see reflected in the uh, key above as well. So now when it comes to our Grafana dashboard, I can now build something that details network connections that any endpoint invoked, regardless of it being Linux or Windows. So I'll go ahead and change these terms. 
I've also added, you, uh, you'll notice within our pipeline rules, we're also doing the same for source IP as well. So I can also use that as part of our filter. So this data underscore win underscore event data underscore source IP, I will just change to source underscore IP to select our universal field name. Our uh, destination IP, I will change that to DST underscore IP. And then our destination port, which we are also doing here is going to reflect uh, DST underscore port. So I will select DST underscore port. And look at that. Now you, we see all these changes because now we see no matter, we see a wealth of endpoints of Linux and Windows endpoints here. And now since that log normalization is happening, now I get a visualization that details all of those events instead of just my Windows events network connection. So when it comes to scaling and just simplicity and normalize, uh, normalization is really big when it comes to running an efficient seam stack. You really need to have these standards in place. And Greylog is a great, great way for us to take advantage of that. And what's nice about Greylog is that it is as easy as that. And we can do that for any log source that we're collecting logs from, whether that be our firewalls, whether that be third party API services like Office 365 or AWS CloudTrail or whatever we're ingesting logs from. It's really important to, as part of that process of, okay, we're going to start ingesting these new logs to mapping out the, the unique field names that come from the log source themselves because developers and vendors are, there's no standard that they follow when it comes to, okay, destination IPs are going to be written to this same field name and that's going to be across and all developers and vendors will follow that standard. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So we need a way for us to make our own standards and Greylog is the perfect tool to do that. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you haven't checked out the Capture the Flag Challenge, I will link to that in the description below as well. And so make sure you enter in your for your chance to win a $50 gift card for this month. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.